Hey, what's up, y'all? Hope everything's been good. And, uh, y'all been having a blessed, you know what I'm saying, uh, time in life and everything you do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just took a little break, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, had a viewer who said that I was making too many videos. So I decided to take a little break so, you know, he could do whatever he has to do. I didn't want him to stop watching him, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I need everybody that's that's Christian, all you know, the ones that, that want to go to heaven, you know what I'm saying? I want them to watch the videos. So, you know, God bless him and God bless everybody. And I just want to report this dream that I had um, on 7 And uh, this is how it starts. Last night I had a dream. I was walking with Damon Garner, and we were walking to a restaurant. When we got in the building, there was a restaurant and a soda machine next to it. Right when we, when we were about to go in the restaurant, I noticed that I didn't have a shirt on. So I told Damon, I forgot to put on a shirt, so I would have to get one and come back. And Damon was a little annoyed by, by that, but he just said, okay, and went in the restaurant. Then I left and went outside, and it was daytime, and I was walking on this straight concrete sidewalk, and I saw Terrence Davis, and he was dressed in a suit. So, I was, so as I passed by him, Terrence told me he was going to the restaurant. I just left for him. Then I told him, well, can I wait for you? Uh, uh, can you wait for me? Because I'm going to. I'm just going to get a shirt, and I'll be right back. Then it seemed like Terrence didn't really want to wait for me. And I said, come on, man. I'm going to the same place you're, you are, and it would be messed up if you left me. So Terrence agreed to wait. Then I kept walking, and I ended and ended up at my grandmother's Nancy's house in her garage. While I was in there, some more young men my age came in there. Then we started talking, and it was t and it was like we were a team, and we huddled up in a circle, and they all started saying something, and I wasn't familiar with what they were saying, so I was just following along, and so was the person in front of me. But we were very excited and ready to win. Then I ended up upstairs in this apartment, and I was babysitting for my Uncle Anthony and taking care of Elijah. While we were in there, it was three Elijahs and the original one. Then the three clones of Elijah asked, what happens when we die? So I told them, when we die, or when I die, I will be taken into the heaven to be with the Lord. And y'all will return back to the original Elijah because that's where y'all came from. Then Elijah will go to be with the Lord also. Then I, then I talked on the phone to someone, and they were telling me that they didn't know what time Uncle Anthony would be home, but it would probably be around 5 or 6 p.m. She also said he might not come and pick them up today because that's how he did your granny, and she had to keep them all day. And I thought to myself, I hope they come soon because I have things to do. So Uncle Anthony came, and he had Crystal, Fred Smith's friend, with him. And it was like they were her kids, too. Then I saw Fred Smith coming up the stairs. And as he was coming in the door, he was saying, what if you were able to be a psychic? Then I said, well, I don't know. I guess you would know things before they happen. But a prophet knows everything about everything. Then I asked my Uncle Anthony, doesn't a psychic talk to the dead, whereas a prophet gets his information from God? Then I looked at Uncle Anthony, and he was very young looking, with no facial hair, and his lips were pink. And I thought to myself, he must not ever smoke weed. Then we went to sit down at the, at the dinner table, and when we sat down, Stephon Curry came in the house through the front door. When he, came in, when he came in, Stefan went into the kitchen in front of the sink, and I said to him, I watched your highlights last night, and you were doing really good out there. And then I said, I like the move where you were going to come off the screen on the left and then cross it over to your right hand and shot the floater. And then Stefan Curry came to sit at the table with us, and he said, yeah, on that play, I heard, I heard the defender say, get over the screen. So I acted like I was going to come off the screen and cross it over. I'm Stephon Curry, and I said, it is such a blessing that I am able to be here right now talking to y'all. 
because his father, Dale Curry, was at the table, too, and I felt he knew I was a good guy by the way I talked. Then I asked Stephon Curry, where do you live at now? Did you move to Los Angeles? But Stephon was acting like he didn't want to answer my question because he didn't really know me or if he could trust me. So I told him in a very low voice, you can trust me. All I really do is preach to, the, to people about Jesus. Then my father, Dennis Williams uh, the second said, uh, was sitting to my right and Stephon asked him, is he telling the truth? Then my father shook his head up and down and said, yes, he is telling the truth. Then Stephon went back in the kitchen and he told me, I used to go to Morningside Elementary School. Then I told him, I used to go there too. Then I said, when, do you, when did you go there? How old are you now? Are you about the same age as Aquinas? About 21, right? Then Stephon said, I'm 19 years old. So I was like, well, you were a couple of grades below me. But I seem to remember seeing your father coming to pick you up in his truck. I knew he looked familiar. Then I woke up from my sleep. And when I went back to sleep, this is what I dreamed. I was walking over by this place off seminary. It was daytime, and I saw two Hispanic men coming up to me. And the first guy said something to me in Spanish, so I couldn't, but, I could, uh, but I couldn't understand him. Then he got closer, and he held up this black holy Bible and said, Libre. Then I said, oh, you want to share the gospel with me? And the other one came up to me with his black holy Bible, and I said, come on, let's discuss some of God's word. But they didn't want to for some reason, and I felt kind of weird around them. So I took off, and I got on this sailboat and had received, I had received and started riding the streets. There wasn't any water on the streets, but I felt like there was about, about to be, and I felt like Noah before the great flood. So I kept driving the sailboat all the way past Trinidad to my house. Um, let's see. So I got home and chilled for a second. Then my doorbell rang, and I opened the door, and there were a lot of little kids coming over my house, and they wanted me to take their trash out. They looked like they were from the Boys and Girls Club. Also, there were adults there also, and I went outside to take the trash out. Uh, to take their trash out, and it was daytime, and I was, I was like, it was like a picnic out there with food and jars. Elderly women were supervising outside, and I believe I saw Tupac Shakur's mother out there also. Then I ended up in this room with my homeboys, uh, Dimash, Bobby, Galoop, Fred Smith, and Kendrick Smith. We were all in this room, and the guys wanted to watch this Michigan, Michigan State game on TV, so we were waiting for that to come on. I was sitting the closest to, the, to this window, and the blinds were open, so the light was shining through. But it was a glare on the television screen, and, and the game came on, and I, and, it was, and I was a little disappointed because it was a college football game, and I thought it was a college basketball game. So Kendrick didn't like the glare on the t from the TV uh, on the TV from the light from the window, but I told him it was cool and we we could still see the screen. Then Kelly Rowland from Destiny's Child came in the room and she was telling uh, t talking to Beyonce on the phone, and Kelly gave me the phone and said Beyonce wanted to talk to me, so I got on the phone and we started talking, and Beyonce was just telling me things about herself and I would ask her questions and she would answer them. Then I got up and walked towards the front the front door and Beyonce said, you look like your hood fabulous. Is that true? Then I said, well, I am from, I am from the hood. I grew up right on the corner and the dope dealer sold dope right across the street, but I never got involved with selling drugs. I just smoked weed. Then I asked Beyonce, what about you? What do you like? Uh, what do you do like that? This uh, then this little black girl said she drinks wine when miracles happen, and wine is supposed to be Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I don't even know how how I, can, I don't even know how to comprehend a, a spiritual gift like that. Um, 